today. <coughs> today we will be reading Where Will You Be at the End of Today? We read Philippians 3, verses 7 through 21. So let's take this Philippians. Come on. Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 through 21. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Ye, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the exact excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do not count, and do count them, but don't that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him, and the power of his righteous resurrection, and the fellowship of his suffering, being made come from full unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, I might as though had already attained, neither were already perfect, but follow after, if that may apprehend, for, apprehend that for which also I am apprehend of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press for toward I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if in any thing ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nonetheless, where to we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, the followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have as for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you, even weeping, that they were the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory in the shame, mine earthly thing. <coughs> For our conversation is in heaven, for, from which also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall change a foul body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the wonder, working whereby he is able even to sustain all things unto himself. Key verses. I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Philippians 3 verses 13 through 14. Understand. What can you realistically accomplish today? What goals are worthwhile to pursue today? Are there others that aren't worth the time? What do you need to forget to allow you to move forward to the future. Apply. What's the state of your to-do list? 
whether it's a mile long or placidly under controlled life is busy. Stay up late or get up early. We each have only 24 hours a day to get everything done. There are tasks and responsibilities we must attend to. But the Apostle Paul, writing to the Philippian church, challenges us to focus on the bigger picture to make it our priority to know Jesus and experience the mighty power that raised him up from the dead. How can you come closer to the, that goal today? Are you starting out today right by spending time in his word? And in prayer, lean on him throughout the day and ask him to guide your steps, your thoughts, your words, and your actions. Commit to seeking him every morning, taking a step or a leap, closer to the glory of your brother Jesus. Prayer. Jesus, I'm forgetting about my past when I struggle to know my true goals from day to day. I'm running toward you now. Now I'm running towards you. Give me the wisdom to continue in that race while I pursue daily responsibilities. I know when I am doing both my life can and will glorify you. Amen.